Hi Paul, really, really great session yesterday. Really good way to kick off our winter program. The main issues we were having were obviously a, a consistency of strike really was the main one. Um, and then the, obviously we worked on trying to uh, narrow in your shot cone. So, you know, we, we looked at the, the flight scope numbers and, you know, there were a lot of straight pulls, uh, straight pull, yeah, straight pulls, slices. You know, there was obviously there's some straight ones as well. Obviously there was some catching a bit heavy, a bit thin as well. The main thing we talked about was one trying to maintain your inclination to the ground. So by that I mean trying to keep your head basically in the same position. So what I've done is I've just highlighted, um, put a line in front of your head and a line above, like, almost like the wall, so to speak. First thing I just want to point out in your setup, obviously, was we talked about how the back looked and the, and the neck. You can see there, obviously, the chin's up quite a lot, which makes it quite difficult for you to be able to turn your shoulders in a circle while still keeping your eyes on the ball. Obviously, it starts to get quite forced looking, and that was causing us one or two problems. So, if we just have a look in the middle here, you can see the chin down, give you a much more rounded look, much, much better. Now, over it. Sorry about that. If I just highlight, <coughs> they say we talked about needing to keep on the um, the shaft plane on the way back from sort of P1 to P2.53, and it starts to raise up onto the elbow plane. So if we just start this one back. And we'll talk about what we mean. So if we talk, as it just starts to go back now, just watch how it, the hands come off the shaft plane very quickly. You can also see, if you're watching your head as well, you can see that the level drops. You can't quite see it from this angle, but basically we've, we've worked out that you were, you were right tilting too much. So you weren't, you're not right tilting, extending and turning at an equal rate. There's a good amount of extension, a great amount of turn, just a bit too much right tilt in your backswing as well. And you can just see here now the hands obviously coming up onto that elbow plane and then getting over the top of it here. So you're always going from this position you're always going to hit cuts and you're always going to hit a lot of straight pulls as well. You can also see that your head's come forward so it's come through the wall, it's dropped a little bit. Now from that position here Obviously you're above plane, so you're going to be hitting a lot of cuts and a lot of pulls. But the only way you're going to be able to get the club back on the ball properly then is just by bringing yourself up out of the ground quickly. So you can see here, obviously, over plane. Now watch, you, watch yourself stand up now trying to get club on ball. So you rise quickly into that position. And from that position, like I said, you're going to hit a lot of thins. And if you don't, raise quickly enough you're going to get a lot of fat shots as well so on this one in the middle obviously this is sort of half in, halfway into the session this is you working on trying to keep your hands more on the shaft plane here from P1 to P2 so the thought was almost to get the hands working maximum in and we also put the hat under your uh, under your left armpit and basically to feel like you're just going to squeeze that for dear life and so we just start this one back oh. just put the same line in here you can see if anything slightly underneath it which we don't mind for now obviously while we're working on it obviously you've got to almost exaggerate it slightly you can just see and as it starts to come up into P3. You see how the, the club is bisecting your shoulder, and we're looking for you to try and almost bisect the bottom of the right forearm. Like I said, if anything, that's slightly low, but in a much better position than where it was. So if we just take that to the top of the back, and you can see there, much better. You can see a lot shorter as well, which is going to help a lot. Now, not so much to do with yesterday's session, but I just want you to take note of how much your trail leg straightened on the back, on the backswing. That's something we worked on 
uh, last month, I think, in your last session. Just want you to have a look at that and just see how much better that is. That's really top notch. And obviously now here you can see nowhere near as big a gap. In fact, none at all because you're still squeezing onto that bobat. Whereas you can see this one here, arms come away from the body completely. See that basically you can't see your neck at all in this one, so you can see how much deeper behind you that position is. You know, on the way down there, as you can see, back down onto uh, elbow plane. Whereas in this one here, straight over the top of it, like I say, you're going to be in a lot of pulls, a lot of cuts from that position. <coughs> this last one, we've lost the bob at. It's in your last few swings. And we got you to hit some, sh uh, do some swings early on when I just put a club on your forehead. And I wanted you to swing back without your head, basically without me having to push your head backwards. And if we just start this one back here, so you're still thinking hands in. Much better position. Through the base of your right forearm, uh, base of your right bicep. Up onto elbow plane. And just have a look at that position there. Look where your head is. It's not come off the wall, it's not come through the wall. It's not dropped. Now from that position there, you're not having to raise, you're not having to come out of the ground as quick. And you can work down into the ground a lot better. As like I said, we can still work on getting it a bit more under plane on the way back. But all in all, a massive, massive improvement. And I'm really, really happy with this. So you've got quite a bit to be going on with over the next month until I see you again. So main points, practicing with this grid as well, uh, with the clubs in front of you, just to give you a nice visual of what you're doing. Bob out under your left arm and squeeze on for dear life. Hitting and obviously just practicing some goal swings, head against the wall, give you that feel of maintaining that inclination rather than actually becoming more flexed over on your backswing. Best of luck with it Paul, really really impressed yesterday. I'll speak to you soon, bye bye for now.